So the last one I want to introduce is how to draw surface manually. Uh, basically to create a freehand region of interest or use the max function to keep or remove the components. All right, so here maybe I will just use um, let's see, this one. Okay, so this is, oh, sorry, maybe I'm thinking which one is better. All right, maybe just start from this one. Okay, so here I have the sales standing, very simple. Uh, some in some cases or some applications, if you notice, if we create the object using the creation wizard, we have the options to segment only region of interest here. Here. And in the next step, we will be able to select a rectangle area for region of interest. But in some cases, if we want to use more like a freehand region of interest instead of a standard rectangle, uh, in Imaris, we don't have these default options. So, but we can try to use the surface to create a region of interest. For example, in this case, if I want to measure the red channel vesicles only in this area, only in this area, then I can try to use the surface to create this freehand ROI and the segment these signals from the background or other object. So just an example, you can use it on many different applications. Like if you have a brand image, very big, but you only want to analyze the signals in a specific region, then you can also use the similar uh, procedure to to draw out this region. So in order to draw the surface manually, I can skip automatic creation. Imaris will bring, take you directly to this contour, contour functions, which is located under the draw tab in the surface object properties menu. And here you can go to first, you can see this slide position, which is similar as the also slicer. Usually we have to turn off this volume to be able to see it in a clear way like this. So it basically show you the every Z slice in your image sample. Then in the mode, you can choose drawing mode. So we have different drawing mode. Here I'm just going to use the distance which Imaris will put uh, the points, drawing points in the equal uh, spacing. So here maybe is one, I just use the default 1.01. And for the channels, usually we have to, if you are doing the manual drawing without the detection of the intensity using the ISO line or metric one, we don't have to select the specific channel. But if you are going to using this ISO light to detect this signal automatically, then we probably have to choose the specific channel here. For the distance, maybe I don't need. To be able to draw on this single plane, C slice, we have to change mouse to select mode and click this draw. So now I will be able to draw this area. I just, in the starting point, I just left click, then move my mouse, move my mouse. Then in the end, I put the mouse position back to the starting points. Then this control will automatically uh, closed, automatically closed. So in the distance mode, I just make one click then move my mouse, then move my mouse to the, to the shape I want to create, then move it back to the original point, then this control will be automatically closed. 
All right, so let's say if this is the region of interest I want to use, I want to use, I want to analyze, then in the bold, I can copy, copy this contour and move to the one end of this, these slice and test. So I have another same shape, same contour and move it to another end of the uh, C stack, then test again. So I have these three contour uh, in 3D space. So after you make this contour, you can click on the create service to create this uh, service as a region of interest like this. So here you see uh, some different options. That's if you have uh, difficulties seeing this contour in different plane. For example, if you already draw here and then you want to move to the middle and uh, maybe draw another one, but the top one kind of block your uh, visualization, you can go to uh, here, bold, then choose visibility none. So it only show you the contour at current plane, at current plane. So when you draw the contour at the other Z plane, this contour will not, the existing contour will not block your visualization. Then after you finish, you can turn it on and see how it looks like. All right, so you can use the same, same shape for all, all the uh, contour, or you can, like I just did, or you can, draw a different contour in different Z area, Z, Z slice, then this shape, surface shape will be uh, different. But here I just want to use, show the uh, easy uh, region of interest. So this can be your region of interest as a freehand ROI. Then after the service is created, uh, of course you can already get, oops, it just closed suddenly, so I have to, uh, sorry, I have to do again uh, here. All right, so let me just uh, quickly do it again. Okay, so. So I just do the same thing, maybe slightly different in shape. All right, so copy, past, and uh, past. Okay, so you can see how quickly I can do it <laughs> for another demo. Okay, so now I have this uh, surface, then I can go to the statistic. I can already measure the, some intensity, some intensities inside this service as a region of interest, intensity for each channels, uh, et cetera. But furthermore, if you want to further uh, uh, segment this, in, uh, these signals using this region of interest, then we can go to the edit tab and you can see there is a mask functions. Uh, if you have multiple services, you want to mask either the select ones or all the services, then you can use these options. So here I only have one services, so I just uh, mask all. And uh, let's say, okay, the one I just created is for the red, so I use red, and here I can ch choose constant uh, inside, outside for the values. So voxels outside service to zero. So all the voxels outside this service for the red channels, it will be set to zero. So I will say, okay. So you can see the new channels being created. And now if I turn off the original channels, 
this is original ones and this is the new channel so you can see in these channels only the signals inside this region of interest will be kept others will be removed so you can do a lot of things based on these new channels so you can do either a spot detection just inside this uh, surface region of interest based on these channels as a one example All right so that is how you can uh, draw the surface manually and try to segment the signals out from the other uh, other backgrounds or other channels like this another example of using it i think is the last one i want to sh show is maybe um, service here so for this um, kind of weird maybe it's a plane or some box okay so anyway we only have one channel here but what if we want to visualize this let's say tail structure individually from this uh, from this shell maybe structure but we only have one standing so if we just use service create a service automatically maybe some cases or most of cases it's difficult to separate these different structures based on one standing so in this case we will have to we can try to use the manual service functions so i will quickly show you so here i'm going to use also the distance mode and click select and draw so we should go to the first z slice which where our uh, structure appears so maybe here so i can select this one draw this one and here probably okay uh, because here i just want to you uh, create a mask so i don't need to draw at every z slice and the match the shape so i just want to basically create a, a surface mask to cover this structure i want to uh, segment in 3d space so i don't need to be super uh, demanding so here maybe another one right okay so go to the middle here Okay, then maybe here. All right, so let's see how it looks like in 3D space, it looks like this. Okay, so if I create a service, this service should cover or include the structure I want to segment. So here, same as previous, we go to edit and we can max selection. Uh, we only have one channel, so outside service to zero. So, okay. So now I have two channels. If I turn off, my original channel, I, we can see these structures being uh, separate from the main channel. And there are uh, different ways. If you just want for visualization, uh, we can change the color of this channel to a different color. So now we can, even we only have one uh, standing in the beginning, but we can still present it in a different color for the uh, structure we want to show like this 
right? So if this color overlapping is not, mix color is not good, you can do another, another uh, mask. Then here, instead of outside zero, we choose inside zero. So now we have this, this structure being uh, removed, then we will have a better color matching. But of course you can do better for the segmentation, the drawing here. And here I just showing you an example of how to do it. Then this is displayed by using the different channels. Then of course you can do another automatic service creation based on this channel. So it will be a lot easier now if you do the surface because we don't have the background and the other uh, components. So it will be uh, much easier to automatically create a service using this creation wizard. So now we have this uh, beautiful structure, which we can change the color as well, like this. Okay. So using, by using the manual uh, contour drawing, service drawing, and uh, with masking, then you will be able to analyze or visualize the region of interest as the way you want to, to display. Okay, another, another uh, manual contour service creation we can do is using this uh, EM data set. So for some electron microscope images, uh, some of our uh, users also use this manual service creation to draw the structure they want to segment and use the animation or snapshot service creation in Imaris to display the data set to visualize the data set like this, okay? Because the intensity is different from the uh, fluorescence microscope, so it will be almost impossible for Imaris to automatically detect these uh, structures from the EM images. So most of the case, we need to use the manual contour to be able to segment these structures from EM images. <clears throat> 